First, you gotta cut this part here, and you follow the belly. And about that area all the way down to the anus. Oh, it's down there? Yeah. Flip over. Slice this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that works. That cuts out the belly section. Then before you take, before you start cutting for the fillet, you have to cut the edge of the skin all the way around. Hi, Nan. Want to learn? Want to fillet the fish for your mom? All the way next to the next to the spine, but not past it. Now, I'll flip it over and cut the other side so that the skin is separated from the fin and uh, the rest of the body there. You're gonna like this look at the next part after I get this. <laughs> it's like a pizza. Okay, that's free. Edge of the fin all the way around until you get to where, okay, all the way around is cut, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you take this edge here, pull oh. it up. And then to make it easier for yourself, a hold in it, stick your finger through. <laughs> oh, I got the one. Oh. And there's your skewer. Okay. And usually, I'll just do that just to get any excess scales off. But not wash the meat because the meat will get waterlogged. Okay. It starts to get a little more funky. As far as like the plabber. <laughs> Wash the scales off your knife. And then you just follow the spine bone all the way down. Yeah, we did it just like this. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I know you know how to do this. I was just checking if you know how. Okay. I'm just checking out my skills though. I never did it. Let me see this Melissa boy cut this fish if he really knows how or not. You get it once you get it to where you can feel hear that th 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 from the spine. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna try to make sure the side's completely free. Hey, scales! No, no. Yeah. Oh, that's how you do that part. Got the cutting board, babe. Because you have to cut this section out, okay. and then it's boneless. <laughs> That's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Yeah. As long as I got something to cut it on. And uh, you got plastic bag to put it in, or okay. a container? Yeah, another marble here. Which one? That one. Get a plastic bag for the fish to be put in. If you don't happen to have enough room, drop it into smaller manageable sizes. Oh, nice. <laughs> I wasn't prepared, otherwise I would have brought my knife. So you do that when you go out in the boat, or you just debone? I mean, you fillet it out. Well, when uh, we're taking charters, like for customers and stuff, I always debone their fish and fillet, and they just go home with the bags of uh, oh, no, bags of fish meat. So you yeah. never wash the meat? Hmm? You don't wash the fish meat? No, I don't wash the fish meat unless I, mean, I got salt water. Then I will wash it off a little bit. But the more water you put on, the more water log it gets. Can you okay. open the bag for me. Into the bag it goes. And then this one here. Section that's got bone on it. Okay. 
And then there will be a little bit of bone right in the middle here, mm -hmm. but you can chop that up whenever you want. Unless you, you want to keep it on there so that you have the whole fillet, it's a bigger piece, you know? This is a fire, so pull it out. <laughs> here to get all of this part out, it's hard to start, but if you turn your knife around, get it in there like that, then you can get underneath. Of course, there's people that are way more professional than me doing this and probably three times as fast. But I'm the fastest in my household, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the head separated. There we go. Hey, Chada. Anybody like Chada? Where's the eggs? Where is it? Is it like a sack or something? Right here. Just the fish eggs. Is it a sack or a Yeah, it's like two, two separate sacks. Ooh. Yummy. Hey. You want me to put it in the bag? Or? Um, Are you down for Chada or no? Yeah? No, I don't care. <laughs> what I'll usually do is I'll, uh, I'll deep fry it and it gets hard in the oven. Oh, really? It gets a little stiff on the outside because otherwise it's a little weird. So, you know. <laughs> That's a nice trick. Beats cutting the meat off, it takes forever. Yeah. <laughs> you're close to the bone when you hear that drrr, and then you're running over the bumpies on the roof. Right then? Okay, the beads are good there. Grab the edges so you don't trim them off when you're putting this. These bones are the hardest ones to cut through, so sometimes you gotta do like that. But since you got a serrated knife, that'll work. I'll just go ahead and take this off because it's already ready to go. Yeah, pretty much. You can you can take the guts and the head off first. It just makes it a little easier to get everything off when they're still got the Wait. the shape of the body and the meat. Okay, that's the carcass. How many pounds do you think that fish is? Mm, probably like between ten and twelve pounds or something like that. Mm. They're not that big this season until a little later. And how old is it? My guess is this thing is probably four months old. 
six months old. Yeah, okay. They grow really, really fast. Mm. <laughs> In that black stuff that you see, that's the bloodline that usually makes the fish taste real fishy. If you leave it in there, that's why you usually cut it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this like, um, mostly good for frying or Kelleguin or? Um, it's not the best for Kelleguin, but you can Kelleguin it. Mm -hmm. I usually star fry it. Stir fry? Star fry. Star fry? You know what star fry is? No. You get the Japanese panko crumbs oh, ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you put uh, flour, then you dip it in egg, and then you put it in the, the, the star fry. If you're gonna do that, give me a call. I got a super sauce mix that you get. Oh, okay. To die for. Cool. And there, fish in the bag. Would you like me to break down the carcass so that it can be given to somebody, or is it? Um. This, I'm gonna put this, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need another bag to put this in. Yeah. I'll, I'll get one more bag, babe. Take out some of this bloodline so that it's not going to be so bloody. I can fit it in that bag with the as long as I break it. Okay, my babe. Your hands might get a little dirty when they go to this because it wants to jump out. <laughs> and then clean the guts out. These are all the scraps and stuff. That's good for fertilizer, huh? Oh yeah. Put it, no. put it in your compost. Already. Like a uh, compost pile or anything like that. It's excellent. You know, I have a bucket over there. I put the fish guts and I already fermented it. Mmm. You know. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The smell they don't like <laughs> when I go around fertilizing that. We go the crazy. all the way out the highway. <laughs> okay. That's the collar. The collar is really good. Too. Yeah. It's got that's fatty, right? Like, I mean, yeah. that's really a uh, tasty idea. It's right got good flavor. Once the collar and the belly goes together. Want me to leave the heart? There's the heart. Yeah. <laughs> Take that piece of blood line out. Okay. That's clean or go. Take the collar off. Normally in my you have to cut this one section by the gill because it's tough. It's hard to break. If you want to watch them, I'm pretty sure you can tap it to YouTube for Stonko. Uh, <laughs> no, people are going to be like, look at that amateur! <laughs> That's why I said don't show my face. No <laughs> Okay, now one of the harder parts is to cut out the gill section. You've got to cut the membrane right there. That's what connects it. And then it should oh, be able to sweet. rip out. Oh. should be able to rip it out of the top section. Be careful because this part is sharp where the gills are at. And there you go. Now what I'd normally like to do with the heads and stuff, if I'm gonna barbecue it or anything, is I'll split it. Yeah. So butterfly it, so then, then you just soak it in marination or whatever, and then put it up on the grill, and everything inside the head cooks. And... There we go. One disassembled mahi mahi. Color green yellow. <laughs> uh, since my hands are fishy, you want me to put these scraps in the bucket or? Yeah, just put it there. Yeah. I usually clean my mess after. You know, <laughs> so it's just the way I am after working on the boat, cannot leave blood and stuff like that sitting around otherwise. I'm gonna start uh, scrubbing stuck blood and stuff all over. Oh all yeah. Over. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Can I see my face? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>